15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift up of starting 5.1. Go starting. Go ahead. Push it down range. Watching the 60th launch of 2022 Falcon 9 carrying our Starlink payload out into space. Vehicle supersonic. Vehicle has throttled down in preparation for Max Q, which is coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. Great news, we have passed through Max Q. That is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees during ascent. Now we are just about a minute away from a few events happening back to back. That is main engine cutoff. And back is chilling. Stage separation and second engine start one. Miko, our main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines that you see lit up on your screen right there. And that helps slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage. First stage will make its way back down to Earth, scheduled to land on a shortfall of Gravitas today. While the second stage continues with the Starlink payload and igniting that second stage engine We are coming up on those few events here in just a few seconds. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. Now, as you may have just seen, we had Miko stage separation, MVAC engine igniting on the second stage, as well as fairing deploy. Our left hand screen is a view from the first stage, and you can see those grid fins deploying there. On your right-hand screen, you are seeing a view from the second stage looking forward at our Starlink payload. Now both fairing halves that flew today are flight proven, which means that they have flown before, and we will attempt to recover the fairing halves again using our recovery vessel, Doug. Today's mission marks SpaceX's 60th launch of the year. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured Bermuda. designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around both the globe. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. We are getting good callouts. Both vehicles following nominal trajectories.
just now joining the first stage is making its way back down to Earth, while our second stage is making its way to its targeted drop-off orbit for our Starlink payload, which you can see there on your screen. Just under a couple minutes away from the entry burn on the first stage, first stage has a couple more burns. That is the entry burn and then followed by the landing burn. Entry burn is where three of the nine M1D engines will reignite and help to slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. While today is our final Starlink mission of the year, it's the first of Starlink's upgraded network. Under our new license, we are now able to deploy satellites to new orbits that will add even more capacity to our network. Ultimately, this enables us to add more customers and provide faster service, particularly in areas that are currently oversubscribed. We're just about 30 seconds away from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. Again, that stage is. Stage two FTS is saved. Again, that is three of nine M1E, M1D engines reigniting. And you should see that on your left hand screen, while your right hand screen is a view from stage the second one, stage. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn start up. And there, as you may have heard, as well as visually can see on your screen, three of nine M1D engines have reignited. This burn will last about 20 seconds long. Stage one entry burn shut down. And we have just had the entry burn shut down. Both vehicles continue to follow anomalous trajectories. Next up, in about a minute from now, we will have the stage one landing burn beginning on the first stage. Now, while the first stage landing burn is on, we will, all, we will also have SECA one on the second stage just shortly after that, that landing burn begins. Landing burn lasts about 20 seconds, so we'll hear some call outs and wait for a confirmation of good orbit on this second stage. We'll hear... Stage one transonic. We'll hear some of those events happening back to back. Again, we are just about 30 seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. Stage two is on terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there you can see on your left hand screen, stage one has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And Falcon 9 has landed. This marks our 159th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal orbit insertion. And also great news, we did have Seco 1 and heard a call out for confirmation of good orbital insertion. And there you can see MVAC engine has shut down. So stage two is now carrying 54 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we will see you again next time.